Uh, okay, simple, simple math told me that I'm not going to go into no numbers here because this ain't necessary because uh, the piece of pipe you're working with and what I'm working with won't be the same. But anyway, the diameter of this pipe and the distance between the two jaws gave me a center line and just simple math when I came when I came down with the uh, size of cutter that I have in here, and it's unimportant because you're not going to be using the same size cutter. Just get her done. But anyway, simple math told me that it was three quarters of an inch from the side of this cutter to the jaw vise, and also three quarters of an inch from that side to that side, and that gave me a center on the drill on the end mill, and. Guys, you want to do the best work you can, but get her done. This is the setup on drilling, drilling those uh, holes in the uh, muffler, and I drill, drilled uh, three rows there, and uh, they are at an angle. I do have a, a end cap on it, and there was two projects involved here, and the other one is the camera setup, and I'll show you what it is. I went to a yard sale and found an old uh, lamp that came off of a desk. It was a high quality and had a real nice flexible arm on it. I disassembled the lamp and this is what I came up with and it works really good. It's, uh, I did braze the, uh, the two nuts together. I threaded, I threaded this part, I threaded this fixture braised a five sixteenths and a quarter inch bolt together uh, they're tied in there that will remain here I can just screw the camera right on top right here but anyway it comes on down around on the milling machine I did the present to use it today I did go ahead and just use a clamping assembly and it does work really good it's tight it's safe I am going to mill a plate to go on the bottom of this bolt it here with a hole in it and it eliminate this setup right here. Uh, and I will put a uh, probably a C clamp assembly on it to where I can uh, uh, just uh, I can affix it anywhere I want to on the lathe or over here on the milling machine. But uh, it, it, this is a real good setup, and I, I throw this idea out there, and it does give you two free hands. And the uh, muffler, I did set it in at an angle. Well, we're gonna put it on the engine and see how it sounds. Okay, the finished, uh, this is the muffler that I'm going to put on the engine, and you can see it's just a series of holes, and what I did, I calculated uh, just in my head the amount of holes that's in here, the amount of holes that I drilled in this pipe, and it's blocked off at the top, uh, and these are drilled at an angle. And they just uh, kind of doing a little uh, sketch on the piece of paper there with a circle this, I drew a circle this diameter, and then I started to draw in these little circles inside of it to see how many I need to almost fill up that amount. Because I do like a little back pressure on a muffler system. Uh, I, I think it does help. Anyways, I milled these, I milled, milled these uh, holes in this, in this, in this uh, piece of pipe, brazed the top on it, and uh, it's just a straight pipe, but it'll put a little back pressure on it, and it does change the sound on it a minute. So. And this is the muffler uh, installed on the engine. That rust uh high temperature paint, uh, it sounds real good. The muffler that was on the milling machine earlier, it's on the engine here running. This is a McCormick Air and M. Just run the exhaust pipe up, brace the end on it, drill some holes in it. Drill on M. The 
Jesus, man.